I didn't like mathematics at all. Like I tried my possible best to dodge this subject called mathematics. Even in secondary school, we had two mathematics, maths and further maths. I dodged further maths class because of my hatred for this subject called maths. Even when I was preparing for jam, I was so glad that maths wasn't included amongst my subjects. But little did I know that coming to the university, I would still be introduced to maths again. And it's not just ordinary maths, it's further maths. Like, why does what, what does maths have with me? You know, with this, I just knew that there's nothing I would do, to, you know, to dodge maths. Like, I would always meet maths. And that made me to start loving the subject more, finding joy in the subject, appreciating it. Because if I dodge it, I will repeat I'll repeat this year. How did I do it? That's what I'm going to share with you in today's video. Quick intro, my name is Oba Benita. Welcome to my channel and let's get into the video. One problem we as students have with mathematics is the bad foundation and that is kind of like from the bad teachers. Like not all students are privileged to go to the best schools. Not all schools have the best teachers. So you know with the poor foundation, you know, it's it weakens our balance, it weakens our development in the subject and we don't perform well, we don't understand the subject well and the fear and the hatred for the subject begins to come in. So that is all going to end today. So I'm going to be structuring all the steps into a formula that you can easily memorize, you know, learn, absorb and use it to become a genius in mass. I call the formula the R square set formula. The R square meaning that there are two R's. I just analyzed myself and found out everything that I did and I organized it into a formula that will help you memorize it and you know learn better. The first R represents restructure. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you kind of like understand where I'm getting at. What this first part means is to restructure your mindset, reshape your mindset. Because any subject that you hate is going to hate you back, whether you like it or not because i hated mathematics so much you know i feared even attempting it and that's it made me not to learn anything much in it but the moment i started seeing the good in it the moment i started appreciating everything in mathematics i started enjoying it more even when i didn't get it it would make because of the appreciation i have for <laughs> the work of mathematics i will still go back so the first step is to restructure your mindset, reshape your mindset, shift your thinking. So the second step after you must have restructured your mindset is to review. This is where the actual work, you know, you begin working with your textbook from here. Probably you want to study sets. You just, what I mean by review is just to skim through, skim through everything. Skim through GP, skim through AP, some of GP, some of AP. Before you start your studies in mathematics, go to the back. I'm giving you a secret tip now. <laughs> read the revision questions i'm not saying you should practice them just read them read the hard ones and the simple ones they may sound crazy in your head and when you read the hard ones you'll be like whoa this topic is hard though <laughs> and you know when you say that kind of thing it will actually help you to engage more help you to put in your best more so that you could be able to answer that question because you'll be like how will i be able to answer this kind of question if i don't study well you know when you see that kind of question you now you now it will not engage you and push you in to put in more effort you get, you get the point right the next letter in the formula is x which represents start and study <laughs> starting is actually the hardest part you know once you must have restructured your mindset and you must have reviewed your test the next barrier you need to break is to actually start you know and that's up to you you know with discipline is enough to get you started you know you know that you have to do this for the studying aspect i'm going to share four tips that's going to help you study mathematics better that i basically apply that helps me you know understand the subject better the first and the most important one is to use the right textbook and please don't use only one textbook for mathematics you know the textbook i find easy or understandable may be you know complex to another person you know so mathematics is this is this you know complex that if you're using one textbook like like no 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 the next tip is to understand the initial concepts of the topic once you start out a new topic and they would not basically start with an introduction you know to try to put you through what the 
whole topic is about so read that introduction and try to understand it's very very important just like if you read sets they will basically give an illustration that everything is arranged in order like sets comprises uh, it involves things being arranged in order and when you read the introduction you find that they relate it to human activities this alone is going to help you understand you know what this whole thing is talking about even when you enter a new concept in the same topic maybe on that set you go into a complement of set they will explain it try to understand those concepts very very important you may say all these big big grammar all these right things what are they doing mass it's very important they wrote it there because they want you to grasp what he's talking about the next tip is to set time with breaks please i don't know if you're like the kind of person that can study uh, mathematics six hours straight me i'm not so what i recommend if you can study 30 minutes with break one hour with breaks 25 minutes with break please do because you can be studying math to the extent that you start having headache <laughs> It happens to me most of the time so just take a break that break don't touch your phone no. just drink water take a walk you know clear your head finally put in the work to understand the method of solution using different texts you know mathematics is it's a calculation subject so it's basically test your calculation ability so put in the work to understand the method of calculation that's why i say use different textbooks because this textbook will not explain so well. This textbook may explain so well. That's why I use Hidden Facts. Hidden Facts explains real good. But it's majorly for Wayek and Neko. I still use it now in the university and I find it really helpful. There are some textbooks that you will look into it and you'll be like, what is this? What is this talking about? I don't even understand the thing. And you'll be like, I'm a failure in maths. I don't understand maths. No, no, no. Use the right materials check out the different textbooks check the solution in this textbook check the solution in that textbook try to compare it and try to understand it you will definitely learn it the e in the formula represents explore <laughs> what do we mean by explore go extra do extra move higher do more you know after you must have tried studying by yourself and you still do not understand you may have a tutor bombard that tutor with questions maybe you're still in secondary school and you study bombard them with smart questions ask questions there maybe you're going for jam lessons ask questions what you're not understanding see the method in which they um they teach it and compare it with the method your textbook taught it you know all these kind of things use youtube if you're not using youtube oh, jesus a list of youtubers that teach mathematics so well it's right here it's right here look at them go to their channels and check them out i'm not a mathematics tutor but there are some people that are gifted in mathematics that when they teach it to you you'll be like oh, jesus so don't just you know if you're if you're studying by yourself it's still not flowing check out their youtube channels ask your tutors questions ask your teachers questions use ai the smart way one way i use ai that is very very helpful it's very very smart is don't rely on it you know ai was there for assistance sometimes i will be giving assignment in mathematics and i will try and try and try but i will still not arrive at any answer so what i will just do is i will go to my textbook look for something related to it and try to solve it sometimes i may solve it and I will not still be sure with, of, of my answer so i'll just go on chat gbt and ask the same question and i'll find that the answer is the same with what i got do you know the kind of feeling do you, do you know the kind of joy it gives you know i put in the effort first before going to on chat gbt you know sometimes i will check chat gbt and to be different i'll be like is chat uh, gbt say the truth you know so, so don't go to use ai for your solutions without you first trying please if you're using it for all your assignments for all your projects for your everything it's a sign of weakness it's a sign you're not strong you know in the subject so explore go wild use study groups you know ask your friends ask people you're close to how do you do this let me see your method for solving this problem you know to help you to help you widen your knowledge is that not what you want in the formula the last letter that is there is t which represents top up top up you know go higher you know how are you going to do this you know those revision questions you looked at you read before you started your um, your initial studies 
go practice them go do them do each and every one of them the one you fail circle them out then keep on going keep on going check the answers anyone you fail and you've checked the textbook to see if you can find a kind of like solution to it and you're not seeing it go and ask your tutors ask chat gbt you know all these kind of things do those revision questions please don't leave it out i promise you i promise you if you do those revision questions you become a pro in that topic let me tell you now that i'm preparing for my exams i'm not going back to studying you know to reading my uh, notebook again i'm actually going through those revision questions and doing each and every one of them that is my goal now for mathematics that is going to level you up remember your learning doesn't end here do the extra practice active recall you can actually practice active recall in mathematics this time you're not going to be remembering definitions or you know explanations you're going to be thinking back at how things how you solve them the method of solutions you're going to be thinking back whatever you're doing trying to think back if you can still remember the method for solving trig method for solving sets method for solving coordinate geometry and all of that this formula should stick with you wherever you go which is the r square set formula I already know the meaning which is to restructure review start and study explore and top up use it every time you want to study mathematics and bet me your understanding will greatly improve your love for the subject your appreciation for the subject will become better your overall performance in mathematics will become better and i'll be receiving more testimonies which is what i want i want to hear your testimonies i'm sure you learned a lot from this video like <laughs> why would you learn anything from it so please do tell me what you enjoyed the most the part you enjoyed in this video share your contributions share any problem you have thank you so much for watching this video <sighs> and i have to say goodbye again so bye